bu oturumun son konuşması Sustainable Ethics All Us konusunda Peter de Wilder tarafından sunulacak. Kendisi Ermco Genel Sekreteri. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, concrete producers and honored guests. My name is Peter de Wilder. I'm a structural engineer and I'm the Secretary General of the European Ready Mix Concrete Federation, ERMCO, as well as CEO of the National Concrete Federation, FEDBETON, in Belgium. First of all, a big thank you to Mr. Yavuz Izik and to Ms. Asli Osbora for the, inviting me to participate in this fantastic Concrete Congress. I'm delighted to join you here to discuss a topic that concerns not only the concrete industry, but also our planet, sustainability in the concrete world. Concrete forms the backbone of our infrastructure. From buildings to roads, bridges, foundations, tunnels, as pretty much all construction projects. However, with growing concerns about the environmental impact of our operations, it's high time we focus on more sustainability ways of producing and using concrete. The people who were just before me talked about already. I go a little bit more in detail from our side. S sustainability in the concrete industry is an important issue. And this because concrete is the most widely used construction material in the world. And because the production of concrete has significant environmental impacts. Here are, very shortly, the most important aspects of sustainability in the concrete industry. First, Sustainability materials. The use of sustainability raw materials is essential. This includes the use of recycled materials, such as recycled concrete, rubble, as well as recycled aggregate. Paired with reducing the use of primary raw materials, such as natural sand and gravel. This will reduce the demand for natu natural raw materials and reduce the need to mine natural sand and gravel, thus reducing the negative impact on natural ecosystems and landscapes. A sustainability approach also includes minimizing the transport dis distance of recycled materials to save energy and emissions. Sounds very logical. Besides recycled raw materials, alternative raw materials such as fly ash, slag, and natural pozzolans can be used to reduce the amount of cement used. These materials can improve the performance of concrete while reducing CO2 emissions. Two, energy efficiency. The production of cement, a major component, if not the most important part of concrete, requires a lot of energy. Reducing energy requirements and using alternative fuels and energy sources can reduce the carbon footprint of concrete. Add to this the significant emergence of electric trucks, I saw some here in the Congress, electric concrete mixers, electric concrete pumps, which will also contribute to concrete scoring very high in terms of energy efficiency. All this must of course be combined with energy efficient transport, both for the supply of all aggregates, sand, cement, and for the transport of finally the ready mix concrete. Three. Three. No tree. There is three. CO2 reduction. The concrete industry is responsible, we, know, we all know that, for significant CO2 emissions. 
mainly due to the chemical reactions involved in cement production, 9% in the world. The use of low carbon cement and carbon-free cement alternatives, as well as the carbon capture and storage technologies, can help to reduce the CO2 emissions. The development and adoption of carbon-free cement alternatives, such as alkali activate cements, geopolymers, and calcium carbonate cements offers opportunities for drastic CO2 reductions. The use of energy efficient technologies in cement production can reduce energy requirements leading to lower CO2 emissions. Using alternative fuels such as biomass and waste instead of fossil fuels can also reduce the emissions. Also, the new cement plants, as just said before, under construction, one in Norway, two in Belgium, and others, which will be able to produce cement without CO2 emissions, will help our industry to take the necessary steps in the future so that our beloved concrete will be globally accepted more and more in the future. Four. Sustainability design was also already spoken before. Designing buildings and infrastructures with efficient use of concrete and minimizing waste can promote sustainability. This includes the use of innovative design techniques, such as, just showed on the, on the video, thin concrete structures and pre-stressed concrete. Design includes strategies to reduce energy consumption, such as integrating insulation, energy efficient equipment and lighting. Minimizing heat loss and cold bridges, depends where you are in Europe, to reduce heating and cooling requirements. Using local architecture and construction methods to promote integration into the environment. Assessing the ecological impact of the building through to its life cycle, including design, construction, use, and demolition, to optimize, one more time, the sustainability. Five, life cycle ex extension. Promoting the durability of concrete structures through re regular and preventive maintenance, regular inspection, and monitoring of concrete structures, repair and reuse can extend the service life of concrete structures. But using existing concrete structures, as well as making the right design choices, coupled with the right knowledge and application of the product can also lead to a significant lifespan extension. Carefully quality control, during construction and the use of durable materials contribute to a longer life, lifespan. Extending the service life of concrete structures is not only cost effective, but also contributes to sustainability by reducing waste and conserving valuable resources. Please do not forget that when we arrive on the building site, our concrete is not ready yet. We have ready mixed concrete, but then we give it to somebody else who's going to use our concrete. And what happens if something goes wrong? They blame on us. No, I'm not blaming the people who are working with the concrete, but we have to do it together. We make good concrete, and they have to pour to good concrete. Six, circular economy. Promoting a circular economy in the concrete industry includes reusing, recycling, and recovering concrete materials, as well as reducing waste. A circular economy is an economic model that seeks to minimize waste and maximize the reusability of products and raw materials. This model differs from the liner economic model in which products are produced, used, 
and discard. In a circular economy, products and materials are retained in the economic cycle as much as possible, contributing to sustainability and reducing pressure on natural resources. This requires, one more time, innovative des designs, high quality recycling processes, and changes in consumer behavior. And now it comes, and I don't know if there are some people from the government still here. Governments, companies, and society as a whole are playing a role in promoting a circular economy to reduce environmental impact and increase economic efficiency. As I said it, all together. Seven, also a very, very, very important one. And I heard I had the amazing speech of this morning about certification and standards. I'm coming from Belgium. There we have the, for the people who know, we have the Benor uh, label for concrete. I heard that you're also working on such a label. Sustainability, so certification and standards. Sustainability certifications such as everybody know, LEED, BRIAM, promote sustainability practices in the construction sector, including the concrete industry, which is also called for the European very ambitious Green Deal program. I know it's very ambitious, but I prefer to have it a little bit too ambitious than less, because to reach all the globals, all the topics that they set for 2050, it's gonna be a tough job. We all have to know that. So that's why I say very ambitious. I'm pro, eh, to be, <laughs> to be between brackets. Concrete manufacturers can obtain certification for their products to meet specific performance criteria and quality standards. In addition to product certification, Concrete plants can obtain certificates for their production processes to ensure the quality of their concrete. Certification of raw materials, such as cement, aggregates, and additives, contributes to the quality of our beloved concrete. And just now, and Cynthia will be talking about in some hours, CSC, the Concrete Sustainability Council, is the certificate available on the market worldwide that confirms the sustainability factor for concrete in its complete entirety. Eight, also very important, is the education and awareness. Raising awareness about sustainability in the concrete industry and providing training and education to industry professional is from a great, very great importance. Sustainability topics are increasingly being included in education at all levels, from primary to higher education to universities. Governments, one more time, organizations and civil society groups are launching awareness campaigns to educate the public of sustainability issues. Companies invest a lot in sustainability trainings for employees to promote environmentally conscious behavior in and on the workplace. Cooperation between educational institutions, companies, and civil society organizations contributes to effective education and, one more time, sustainability. Awareness and education on sustainability aim to stimulate behavioral change on encourage individuals to make sustainable choices in their daily lives and careers. I'm coming to the conclusion. Nine, global cooperation. Governments, industry leaders, and researchers are working together to promote sustainability practices in the concrete industry and address environmental issues. The aim is to make concrete production and use less harmful to the environment while providing sustainability and cost-effective solutions for construction projects worldwide. And all this in a framework 
where the overall picture of the use of concrete in its to totally, totality is accepted and accepted by both governments, designers, manufacturers, processes, as well users. My, decision, my decisions are therefore unambiguous, clear, and I think I can say quite simple. Concrete is the most widely, I said it already, but I say it one more time and I'm pressing it every day, is the most widely used building material in the world. So do not forget, because a lot of people, concrete this, concrete that, no concrete, no bridges, no roads, no tunnels, no hospitals, no buildings, no foundations, and I can go on like that. So together, together, we must work on this, all together. And by together, I mean we, the producers of concrete, but also the users, the contractors, the builders, the architects, the engineers, the governments, everyone. So as the title of my presentation was, Sustainability Concrete, it's all us, it's the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Secretary General.